going on, everybody? It's your boy Steiner here at Secondhand Talent with my co-host Ducky. As always, Ducky, what do you want to say to the people? You know what? I I have something this time. Oh shit! All right, go for it, man. Dude. So my my mom and sister's favorite movie is Notting Hill. Dude, I went there when I was in London, and they had a grand old fucking time seeing everywhere he went and acted in a mediocre way. Dude, Hugh Grant fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just, story. I'm just gonna say, Hugh Grant fucking sucks, and so do the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thank you, Ducky. Yeah, and we are so happy that you're here with us for another episode. We hope you've been enjoying the season uh, thus far. We don't say it often, but go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe, and tell your friends. Share the link. We appreciate it. We love you. We're so happy you're here. Um, there's also a video of him just like being an asshole to a reporter and put, okay, you know what? I'm off this. I'm off the topic of Hugh Grant, but that guy sucks. Continue. Thank you. So we're talking <laughs> about firsthand etiquette and this is something that we talked about a little bit a while ago in the season. We were talking about as secondhand talent, right? what is our experience like at a show when it comes to interacting with fans, with the other people who are there for, you know, the spectacle of the show. And but Steiner. Yeah. What if you're going as a fan? Not something I've ever done. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic question. And I, I think what we'd like to do today is really give some pointers on, how to have the best concert experience you possibly can, uh, no matter the show, no matter the venue. Some tips, some tricks, some advice to uh, help you have the best time possible. Just just, just uh, to make it great for you and everybody around you. So they're trying to have fun, too. So you're going to a show. Let's start at the top. First of all, what do you what, bring? What are you bringing? What do you bring to a show, Ducky? If, you, if you're going now, let's say... Non, let's take secondhand talent out of this, or we're not talking about the camera, the gear, yeah, all that. Right. Five, throw... five things you're bringing to a show, okay, regardless of it's inside or outside. Uh, less is more, okay, really. You're not there to do anything other than take in the show, phone, wallet, keys. Mm -hmm. Good uh, things come in threes, maybe, you know, yeah, nice. Two more, nice. I need two more, uh, yeah, lighter, lighter is good to have, um. I, I would say well, money is included in wallet. Like, Fair, that, I'll take. My, yeah, my, I, I, th I think my, that's uh, yeah. uh, because that you should. I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, you, you should probably have some some money. Just, just. Oh not, my my! I can't tell you what for. My <laughs> my list like, is very different. <laughs> um, you know, uh, you know, some joints or like. Recreational, uh, like, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever you want to. Some people some recreational some people chemistry, you know, if you got if you have cigarettes, pack of cigarettes because then you can put your joints in there if you want. Then you can then you can have cigarettes and you know what I mean. Yeah. I only have and also, thing, if any venue but, staff are watching this, please ignore everything that we're saying because don't none look of in this my pack. In There's the nothing world. in my pack of cigarettes, not whatsoever. other than cigarettes and cancer. Um, I you know, I think that that's a pretty, uh, pretty basic ass list there. <laughs> Well, um, I mean, yeah, I'd, and I don't I, know everything. Here's the thing: you can do a lot of things before. Well, you can do a lot of things right before. You can do a lot of things right before you walk in the door. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, let, let, I want, I want to so hear. Maybe I had ten things, and, <laughs> and I want, then I want to hear how I you walk feel. In the door, I have five. I want to hear how you feel about my list, though. All right, so yeah, go for it. I <laughs> am taking this from the point of view of certain things <laughs> are a given. Right. You're bringing your smokes, you're bringing your wallet, you're bringing your phone. You're bringing, like, what are those things that I would bring to so a show? Those, those don't count to the list. We, we, well, then I can because then I can come up with a couple more things. Well, so so I'm curious to hear it, how you revise your list after I give them. So can so can that just be like essentials like phone, wallet, keys? I think phone, wallet, essentials? keys count as essentials. I think cigarettes or uh, green or brown are essentials. Um, I I and. You know, I think those things going to a show are, are pretty static and straightforward. What I would add okay. to those, um, I would say a poster tube. Mm. Like a real po like a real plastic poster tube yeah, because 
there's nothing more painful than watching somebody in the front of a show with a poster that's just not in a tube and you're like that is going to be a rag by the time you get out of Even here if you have just like a cardboard one so you know, i would bring, it, some. bring something but bring up bring a bring it bring your own poster tube so you have a safe place to put your poster and other merch that you're going to get um bring with you if you're feeling if you're a kind soul bring test strips bring narcan oh. bring yeah those things that will help give make sure that other people will have a safe time you know regardless of whether or not you indulge in any substances you know you can always be that person to lend a helping hand and today more than ever i think that is sadly should be a staple it's important, it's important. It's important. And I'm torn on bringing it to indoor shows because ideally, the secondhand talent, medics, well, like ideally, it's there in at, abundance already. At Deer what Creek, you know, should bring at Deer Creek in 2021. Too big. My they Narcan, my Narcan was confiscated at the gate, and they threw it in the garbage. Okay. They threw it in the garbage, and everybody around was like yelling at them. And I went up to the head of security, and I was like, "You get, you could have at least given that to your medical staff. This was a sealed box." Yeah. There's no reason like like so those are right, two things so far, right? Yeah. So we've got the poster tube, we have test strips slash Narcan, help out a friend. If you ever see someone who might be falling out, like go find out, lend a hand, be that, be that person who's gonna say, That's Hey, are you are. okay? If you're asthmatic. Your inhaler should be in your five. <laughs> well, I'm saying, but that's kind of at the given list. I would say yeah, number, that's in the essentials. number that's three on my list for me is going to be my set list notebook. Cool. I'm bringing that to every show that I go to. So collectible, it's just collectibles, right? Like yeah. if you're, if you're like, you know, if you, you whatever it is, right? Yeah. You're a sticker guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, so like I've training. got that, that set list notebook. I've got my poster tube. I've got my, uh, got my, you know, narcan and you know other safety preventative measures to help out my fellow concert goers uh, number four on my list ziploc bags ziploc bags because whether or not it starts raining during an outside show or if it starts you know raining while you're inside the show and you got to go out and you don't have anything else some sort of waterproof or water protective bag to hold that important stuff that you don't want i like let me tell you nor the flash flood at northerly island fish 2013 like i could not have given a shit about anything else that i had besides that ziploc bag that saved everything it saved my set list notebook saved my phone saved, and it, it like really like that extra measure of precaution and i guess the fifth thing on my list would be bring the best version of you like, don't, you know, check your bullshit at the door. Everybody's going to be having a bad day sometimes. Everybody's not going to be having, a you know, the best time maybe. But, you know, at the end of the day, everybody who's at the show is there to, is there for the same reason, is there to enjoy the music, to enjoy the people, to enjoy the vibes. Bring your best self. Bring genuine intentions and the want to have a good time. And those things combined, I think, make for a pretty solid what to bring to a show pack. So about your phone wallet keys. Yeah, yeah, those can be. So then I have three slots left. All right, there we go. Um. Hmm. I would definitely bring um no, I don't even know if I bring shit other than that. All right, we're good oh, then. In that case, we're good. I maybe like I was, depending on the weather, like a fucking sweatshirt or uh, <laughs> you know, or check the fo- check the Cause, forecast. Cause, yeah, cuz like even if you're inside for the show, you got to be outside after. So if it's raining, balls <laughs> you know. So let me ask you this an umbrella to every single show I go to. And I'll tell you why. Well, so talking about a show though. Wait, no, no, no. On the umbrella tip. I on, don't, I don't do that on the, on the umbrella tip though. How early do you get to a show? 
because you could be waiting outside in line. Could I'm, be waiting, I'm right? A bit of a... Are you are you are you a early early dude or? Uh, well, I I try to be, but I I I, I run late. So yeah. Oh, um, well, I don't. I like later than I want to be. I'm there before the show starts, but like. I uh, end up getting there maybe like I try to get there around doors. I aim for like parking and walking in around when doors open. So are you a big are you a big merch guy? Yeah. So I try to get there around doors, but I don't go out of my way to get there like 30 minutes before doors and wait outside forever. I don't I don't like doing that. I don't like lines. I don't like waiting. I just want to go in. I hear it's just because we're in Chicago. I'm already pissed off because I've been dealing with parking in the city, and I I just I'd rather just walk in. That's know. fair. Now, is there a tipping point? Okay, so like, let me give you an example. Um, when Steiner and I went to her first Ween show, right? One of our favorite artists, Mark Spusta. Shout out, Mark. Um, yeah. only shirts we wear on this podcast. Uh, it was his first Ween poster. Oh, him. And we showed up mad early to get a copy of that print because there were like 300 of them. Mm. And favorite artist, one of my favorite bands. And I totally hear you about, you know, when, when this is going to air, it'll be a little bit afterwards. But most likely, if I'm thinking of this right, I doubt. I am going to be showing up mad early to get the posters at the fish shows at, at, at UC. I don't yeah, tell me why not just they're because gonna have, they're going to have a ton of those. Well, A, they're going to have a ton, but B secondhand talent, all the fan art or all of my friends. Yeah. We're, and we're like, going to be, there's going to be plenty of art and it's it. just so much more meaningful. Yeah. And well, and, and I just like, I don't, I don't ride hard enough for getting numbered prints to to do that you know what i mean like i'm like yeah i just didn't get it you know it, like i'll get a i'll get one of their posters or vice versa and so it's just like it, it's it's i'm very what's up i really would love for you to make a quick comment about how when we went to lean at the salt shed how i went early and sat and sold my merch and lines how i went at 10 a.m because that's another part of going early is you get to see that. Depending on if you're vending stuff. For sure, but if you're but I'm not talking about if you're vending stuff. I'm talking about getting fan merch. If you're vending stuff, you know what time to go to a show. But, but okay. Well, you were vending. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. But there's a but there's a big difference between sitting in line and having a like a tablecloth out with merch versus like fish lot where <laughs> like it's Wait, but I'm still talking about if you want to go to a show, you want to go. I would want to go because I want to see if anyone's selling stuff. But I want to go inside, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's sure. Sure. Um, I mean, I, I thought we were getting there right then with the fan art, but I, I didn't. I saw you guys going past it, but okay. All right, more counted in. Three, two. Another, another way to think about it is, you know, when we talk about, you know, fan art, right? Remember that this this is a, a sector of secondhand talent that is purely doing this out of love and appreciation, yeah, for the band and the music. And you know, we talk about not necessarily getting their su stupid early for the official merch but to take in the scene and yeah. to experience some people are there all day fans dude. yeah some people there are there all day some just to hang some are like selling shit i mean our producer that, are, are, our producer are, steiner like, not even like our producer steiner is an artist and she sells her wares in front you know at shows and vans right. on lock you can just pull it out like you don't like i mean there's like you can't the, just pull there's it like registered vendors and then there's just people who just whip it out. You know, whipping it out was cool until about like ninety six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then and, and then Paige said no, can't whip it out anymore. Yeah, it just it just doesn't work. 
ever since that, ever since the Boston Guardian game. Ever since Mike tried it. <laughs> Fuck, we got to cut that. Dude. <laughs> Ever since the Boston Garden. Ever since the Boston Garden. And, uh, you know, shout out Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for uh, keeping that keeping that hot dog fresh for us. Um, yeah, dude, you ever been there? I, 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 it's I, cool. I, it's, it's, it's pretty fucking cool. It's man. cool. It's, I'm going to try to go. Um, we're going up there. Uh, oh, we might be going to. I think we're going to Columbus, actually, and not Cleveland. I'm sorry. With Mung. No, nah, it's cool. We're doing plug. plug. Actually, I don't know if this, this, no, 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 this. We're not. I think this is also just going to come out after that. Yeah, this is coming out. So. <sighs> this is gonna, yeah. No, we'll brush past it. This is coming out November 29th. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, well past it. What else do we get? Oh, okay. So speaking of merch, the best time to buy it. Oh, that's interesting because there's so, levels. There's levels. There. Yeah, I guess if you have your tube, you can get your poster before. And you should get it before because they'll be gone by the end. But, and, but don't us also back on the tube tip, though. Don't assume that the venue will have tubes for you. That's why I bring a tube yeah. everywhere. Don't assume that they'll have enough posters to last till the end either. Big facts. Big facts. I mean, there's, you know. There's certain things. Best time I, to buy is before, just with anything. Yeah, I I, I think that that's actually all of it quite you accurate. Hold or pocket. And the nice thing about having Some people even run back to their fucking car. And the nice thing yeah. about having a decent sized tube is that, like, if you're grabbing a t-shirt or you know any other shit, you could roll that up and just get that slipped yeah. in there. Yep. And if or you put it on, some people put it on. And if but if you're bringing one, like you know, I'm bringing a plastic tube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like just those are, those 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 have some space added level of of protection uh, from water and rain damage. That'd be a cool plus space. invention. Well, not really. Inv- you're not inventing anything. Just like a <laughs> you get a, you got a poster tube and it's got like a, like a little uh, thing on the side that you can slot stuff into like a level tube. Well, it's no, it's just a regular plastic poster too, but it's got something uh, on the side like pockets for you to slot things into, like a t-shirt or like a. Yeah, I'm trying there. to imagine this. I I I've got and I'm like, I, I'm 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 ca- like I'm just imagining like a tube with like some Ziploc bags taped to the sides. And like, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like it's like think like think like uh black think like a canvas and it's got like a drawstring. Oh, like oh okay, I see what you're saying. Right. right. Attached to the side, you can just kind of so you can so it, it, it can like you can just put a couple things in there, but it can also kind of move a little bit to the size of you know so, he, uh, like you can you can't fit a fucking ton of shit in there but you know like a well, t-shirt and like some stickers it's also stuff. not often that you're going to a concert and part of the merch is like a board game yeah like so what, like that's what's bigger than the goddamn poster right that you would need to put in a, if right. you have a vinyl i'm okay that is a, that, you might, that you might need to buy after oh no 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 last see now that's a great point actually if i have a feeling that there's going to be a hot record for sale at a show i will bring a, a record bag in in a, in a, in addition, absolutely. I mean, maybe that's if, a part of the invention. I mean, the, no, having a record tote bag when you're going to a show and you know oh, that like they're a tote. Okay. yeah yeah yeah. I thought you had something protective. No 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 no. I'm not that smart. Uh, but if you want to, like, if you know that there's going to be an album release at that show, yeah, like, definitely, they, like, do not rely on them having a bag for you. Yeah, that is and not. And if it's the kind of show they have a mosh pit at, don't hold that in there. Just don't join the pit that show. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry, you can't have everything. You can't accept it. You really can't. Your shit's gonna get smashed, or it like it's just you, yeah, you can't hit everything. Yeah. <laughs> or buy it after, but if it's gone, it's gone, right? Yeah. Like there's 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 you know and then, there's too many factors. You can't you can't plan for everything. 
you can't think of everything and well then you've gotten past merch right and after having thought of as much as you can think of and yeah now we're talking about you're into the venue yeah. and you're wondering where do i want to situate myself mm. What now, obviously, That's indoor kinda... versus outdoor venues. I, I think let's talk about indoor it depends venues. on the person. It does. Some people need to be in ADA and they need to be near a seat or in the balcony because they need a seat for for health. Like for I don't know, maybe they got like a bum knee or something. They got to sit down every once in a while or you just, you know, there's too many. Some people like to be right up front. Some people like to position themselves for the best view of the light show. Some people like to kind of find that middle ground where you get a good light show view and a good good sound because the sound's kind of going to slot at you like that. Well, some people like being in the pit. Some people hate being in the pit. Some people are like dedicated rail riders. You know, it's in the jam scene, people pick sides, right? Oh, Front yeah. Side. Page side. Page side. The loading Page zone. Page side, rage side. Page side, rage side. Right? Joe uh, side, Pat Manley, <laughs> John John Manley. On Shout the out keys. John Manley. John Manley on the keys for Woof. going in, everybody. Woof, um, killing him, killing him. <laughs> way, be- way better, way better, oh, way better than the dozer. John Manley, <laughs> I mean, really like. Yeah, but I, you know, I think that that's a great point. You know, you, you've got, I think a couple. Really, you have a couple sex of people. And they'll we, drift to their same sections every show. And so you have a couple really things to consider, right? So you're talking about your visual aspect, right? With the lights. You're talking yep. about your audio aspect with how yep. loud is this going to be? And right? outdoor does come into play there. The lawn is going to be quieter because you're outdoors and it's just going, right? If you're in the balcony at a at an indoor show, you don't need to worry. There's speakers up there, right? It's good. Wrigley's an interesting example because Wrigley is but kind of both because you've when you've when you're back under where the the roof starts, Mm -hmm. they do have speakers. Oh yeah. Right. But if you're right before it, so it's it's cool, it's interesting there because you'll be it'll be good in the pit because you've got you've got the main speakers. And then as you get farther from there, it gets worse. And then it gets better again because yeah. you've got your speakers. <laughs> so it's it really depends on the venue as far as as far as audio stuff. And you know, a real quick note on that. Um, I do like a recent a good recent show like experience. Recent show experience. Uh, somebody went up to a friend of ours who runs uh, sound and said to them, "Hey, you know, I'm having a hard time hearing the vocals and 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 you know where where I'm standing. Um, please don't do that." Because I guarantee you they're doing the best that they yeah, can. Yeah, like dude. situate <laughs> situate yourself in the place where you can get the best Just sound. Don't complain to being, the people who are working as hard as they can. I can to, tell you being a secondhand talent, like being a camera guy who works with sound guys a lot, none of them will ever, 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 ever be receptive to a rando concert goer coming up to them and telling them how to change this sound. They're going to laugh at you or more likely and worse for you, they're going to get angry at you. Yeah. <laughs> or best la- case, they'll ignore you. Yeah. Best, <laughs> best case, they ignore you, which is, which is honestly pretty worst funny. case. You become they, a me. They might stare at you and then just look away and not Cause it's like, it, it's, that's a science. It, that's about, a science. It's about how you talk to your second study. and talent. So if you if you don't think it sounds good, they might not be that great at it. But I guarantee you, you're you're not your worst at it. But I also and I'm not trying to be mean. But I also, I'm just saying, like they've at least started the, the the study of it. But I would also guarantee though that your opinion means nothing to them. Yeah, and like the amount of you work also that, just might be wrong. Yeah, the amount of work that Maybe you had to hearing. do to that the sound person had to do to get it set up yeah. to that point. You might have bad house, hearing. like you might have bad hearing. You might be on bad drugs. You might be like there could be a lot yeah. going on. You might but, have something stuck in your ear. You might be off to you know the side. So you're like, why do I hear the keys more? Well, because you're in front of the keyboard player's monitors and. 
I, like I don't you you're on that it, it, it this is a you problem yeah this is I a you problem you it's not a sound guy problem yeah no I promise you it's not a sound guy problem right they also did sound check you know and the, and here's the thing there are things they make adjustments on I've I've noticed things that like I'll bring up Wrigley again I was at a show there and I was I we me and someone else mentioned it sounded just overall a little quiet where we were sitting and come set break the second set they had turned it up like they take note of these things yeah they can't just slam it up in the moment though like right like right very true things, they, they very have true. to address they, they probably noticed <laughs> and have to address like not immediately and you know if if you and your inebriated state are noticing it i guarantee you they noticed <laughs> yeah. it as well because yeah. they are not or your that inebriated state created it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, like, do, do, sometimes the doors of perception are automatic and out of batteries, bro. Yeah. So, um. so I speaking, yeah, speaking of being inebriated, drugs. Let's alcohol. talk drugs before, during, after. Well, oh, after you, <laughs> depending on the drug, you probably should not do anything after. <laughs> uh, some people like to do after parties. Those people are wrong. Um, you should go to bed after the show is over. <laughs> the main part is over. I think that there's something to be said here as we, you know, at the time of recording this, we're coming up on, you know, three nights of fish at the United Center. Yeah. Um, and that's different. Well, no. So, 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 so I think the, the real, a real cool question here. Is I you know I agree with that well, statement. Well, at the United but, Center, it's not different. But, <laughs> but, but, no, 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 no. but how do you pace yourself? Well, on a okay. three day on a three day trip. Because okay, I'll speak to that and what I said about afters. If you're like at a three day event, afters are going to be a thing because it's it, you, right. People are going to wind down. You meet up the next day, right? I'm talking. You go to a show at like a venue in the city. You don't need to go to a fucking after party. <laughs> like the show's over. Go home. But, but like once you've seen Daniel like, Donato, just go home. Just go home. It was a great show. It was a great show. It was awesome. It is enough. You went to see that, right? You didn't go to see that and then go do a bunch of blow and fuck off. I don't know. I just, <laughs> uh, it's hard to elaborate on real life experience. It is as much. It really is. <laughs> I, I, you know, listen, I would say that, you know, this gets back to when it comes to drugs, it shows, I would say it always gets back to know thyself. You can always add more. You can't, can't take, take away. less. Hey, hey. So truer words never. So, spoke. Yeah. So as far as before goes, that get ease. And you know Start what? Light. And if you feel like you're not feeling it, Give don't it do another it 20 minutes really don't do it yeah. don't do more yeah, yeah. like yeah. you'll be okay yeah unless you do more oh oh i thought you meant like if you're going into it you had the plan to like you were gonna drop you're gonna go to the show but you're like feeling kind of iffy about the drop just don't drop and go to the show yeah right if you do you don't not need feel to. great i promise you it's still gonna be fucking if fun you do not feel great about taking certain drugs yeah. before that guess what don't not going to have a good time. Yeah. Or or you know that what you said about the other thing also also rings true. Give it another 20 minutes. Or maybe or you, maybe, maybe you're feeling anxious. It'll 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 win, right? Maybe you're hungry. And if someone offers you drugs, just wait. Take your time. This is you why You can always not take it. You can always take it later. You can always, you know, but if you just fucking eat it, it's 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 over. And if some <laughs> and if gonna... someone offers you drugs, by the way, this Say is no. why I care. Say no. And if you're considering saying yes, find a test strip. If you're considering find, saying yes, find some harm reduction better and, and make have sure one or just say no. Make Resounding sure that no. you're just being safe and responsible. Not because you know, uh, here's the thing. I, it's not because they're a, a fucking piece of shit evil monster. Nobody knows them. But that's exactly the point. Nobody knows them. And nobody knows where they got it from. 
Like it could be that's a good nobody knows them and a bad nobody. Like knows I them remember at the same time. one time I'm we, not accusing them of anything, one but I'm time, not putting it past them. One time we were at a show also, and I they, they could just have gotten it from a plug and not know that it's tainted. Uh, one time I was at a show. I think we were at the show together and I saw a, a baggie on the ground and I, I said to a friend of mine, "If we put a test strip in that, it would just say yes." <laughs> like, I mean, like, like, like you don't, like you don't know at all where where so, things have come from yeah. and always always well, always better be safe yeah. than sorry if you find something on the ground and you pick it up you're just don't don't you might don't, as well go to the casino boy don't yeah. pick just go to the hospital and take it there <laughs> take narcan first <laughs> like yeah right just just combine it with your Narcan and your joint. I don't... Narcan is not a preventative medication. I just want to put that out there yeah, real don't, quick. Don't, like... don't take Narcan before taking drugs. That's not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> that should be known already, though. Um, My point is. Yeah. My point is. Getting back to the point. You can, you can always take it later. You can always take more. You can't take less. You can't take less, and you can't throw up something you already took. Mm. Drugs don't work that way. That is an excellent point, actually. I you can't I, you, not once you took it, you of. took it. Yep. You can't get rid of it. Yep. Um, that is an excellent point. And I, you can chug some water and eat some food. Maybe that'll help a tiny bit, but it's it's in your blood by then, man. And educate yourself. I mean, if you're not sure like what certain drugs do Absolutely. or how they might make you feel, like. Go on Arrowhead and go on. There's all these sites and databases where people upload what a user experience is like. How do people feel? Is this the right thing for me? If you have a, a cognitive or mental condition, you really might want to take that into account, you know, with any drugs, but specific ones, yeah. surely. Um, I feel like a lot of situations and, and even movies or whatever romanticize the idea of like, some guys like here, take this man, and you're like, "What is it?" And they're like, "Just trust me." And you have a blast, and it's. Can I tell you a funny story? Do that. Can I tell you don't funny? Do that. Can I tell you a funny story about that? What? When I was in school in Ireland, I was probably at, work out, but don't ever do that. I was at a house party. Uh, uh I was at University of Limerick, right? And uh, we we're at my buddy's place, and there was this uh, British guy just cracking up lines, and I was there with a couple of oh, other, especially if it's lines. Yeah, right. With a couple other American girls who were in school with me, and um. Uh, one of them goes like, "Oh, I want to try that." No, nope. he's like, "Sure." I'm like, I would, I would have so knocked I, her so out. I, so I, so I was like, "Ladies first. Um, and she does. She big old rail, and she goes, "Oh, that's not cocaine." And like the guy goes, "Oh no, love, it's meth." And I was like, "This no, love, it's meth." And I was like, <laughs> "This is why we practice chivalry." <laughs> oh my. God. God, dude, <laughs> that's great. Yes, uh, or no, I don't know how to respond to that. I'm not going to touch that. That's good. That's good. That man. genuinely happened. Yeah. That, that, I mean, then, uh... he, well, then he came, looked at me and was like, "You want one, my like?" Was like, "Nope." Uh -huh. She she did enough for all of me. I don't like meth. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I think I actually wrote a comment uh... about that. <laughs> So just Gilbert gets offered meth. Well, no, his, 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 <laughs> name, his, his name was Meth the Undead Ghost. Was his name? Meth was it spelled M E F? Yes, because that's how the British people one hundred percent spelled M E F. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, all right. Well, I okay. Here's the other thing: you're gonna run into secondhand talent at a show, right? You're gonna bump into photographers. You're gonna bump into. You're gonna you're gonna see stage you're gonna, crew, you know, we videographers. Also, we covered talking to sound guys. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, be like, hey, what's up? Good job, man. Right. Uh, during the show, don't do it. They're busy. Uh, before the show, they're also probably still busy, but they might be polite and say, hey, thanks. You know, but what's up? After the show, give you them really props. Don't, there's no, yeah, right. There's really nothing you need from them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's uh, and there's nothing they want from you. Yes, or need from you. Okay. Especially, uh, but there's other kinds of secondhand talent that you'll definitely be interacting with before, during, and after the show, like bartenders, merch salesmen, merch salesmen. Um, um, how should you talk to them? 
Um, with respect. With respect and politeness. Yeah, and I think this is something we mentioned in the previous episode about first-hand etiquette, you know, something that... That merch guy show, probably slept, like, four hours less. This this <laughs> this show that... Don't be an um, asshole. And that, that night before that, and the night before that, and the night before that, they're busy, they're tired, they're working hard, so that you have a good time, a good time, and so that you get the merch that you want. And a lot of these bands have a lot of fans. So if they're out of your shirt size, yelling at the merch guy is not going to fucking help you. I want to react more strongly to that, but that gives me such deep emotions that like, yeah. like personal experiences. What, it's like, like, I cannot conjure a medium out of thin I, fucking yeah, air. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you want? I, dude, you even saw me check the tag on the shirt that's on the display. We don't have it. It just, do you want me to check the back? That's an alley. <laughs> it's just, I don't, this building is not <laughs> like, Oof. Okay. But if you wanted to have a positive show experience. Yeah. How do you let's talk about dancing? <laughs> <laughs> let's. 